than 10,000 species of reptiles worldwide. A new study has found that at least 20% of the world's reptile species are threatened with extinction. The NSF-supported study, led by NatureServe, the International Union for Conservation of Nature, and Conservation International, highlights what we stand to lose if we fail to protect reptiles. Reptiles represent an, a, a unique evolutionary heritage on the tree of life. And if all of those 20% uh, of reptiles that are threatened today go extinct, we will lose accumulation of 15 billion years of evolution that's, that's led to these fascinating creatures that we see around us today. This first ever comprehensive reptile extinction assessment brought together over 900 researchers across six continents to analyze the conservation needs of reptile species and develop a baseline of information to aid conservation efforts. The team was surprised to find that although reptiles are known to be diverse in arid habitats, such as deserts and grasslands, compared to other vertebrates and thought to be particularly threatened there, in fact, most threatened reptiles are found in forests, especially tropical rainforests. Here, they and other vertebrate groups suffer from threats such as logging, hunting, and forest conversion to agriculture. Species are declining at a rapid rate. Um, some estimates 10 times, 100 times, 1,000 times more than the background rate of extinction that normally happens on the planet. So we're at a really critical time. Um, in our, you know, in Earth's history, and we need to do something about the loss of biodiversity. It's a real problem. But a little conservation might go a long way, helping reptiles, amphibians, and others also found in the same area. The good news, therefore, is that if we really put effort into preserving tropical forests and similar habitats, we get a real bang for our buck. We, uh, we manage to conserve not just the, uh, the birds and other things, but we're conserving reptiles as well. The 15-year project enabled the team to pinpoint where reptiles needed the most help while fostering new partnerships. I think generating goodwill across the globe is another key aspect that comes out of this kind of work. Um, and it's hard to do. We foster those collaborations through the National Science Foundation. We have partnerships and it makes the science better and it makes um, the human infrastructure, those relationships better. Be sure to subscribe and click the like button for more research news. This is NSF Science Now. I'm Dina Headley.